Welcome to Relax and Paint. So today I want a really peaceful winter scene. And I thought I would show you that we're just going to do a really quick, fun, how do I make these trees look quick, easy, and it could do all your greeting cards even out of these. So I has to have a little five by seven, which would be the size of the front of a greeting card. So I'm going to challenge you. I have spent so many years painting all my cards for every holiday and I have 29 grandbabies. So a lot of those and seven different families in our, in our house. Um, so what does that sound like fun? All right. So I got my palette ready and I'm going to pull you down on top of our work so you can be ready to paint with me. So Go get the supplies after you watch, come back and paint it with me together. All right. So I don't know if you're ready to start this morning, but I am. All right. So the colors that are in there is citrus and sap. By the way, these are multi-surface, folk art multi-surface paint. You can't go wrong. They do exactly what I say on a multitude of surfaces. I love my paint, thick, wonderful plaid paint. So I've got sap and citrus. I've got teal, and then we have some Prussian blue, which looks black, but it goes all the way to a pretty light blue. Here's some violet pansy, wicker white, and aqua. All right, so believe it or not, when we get through, I have a beautiful, fun, um, little Christmas setting. Sound good? All right, so I am going to, I was gonna put on a little bit of medium for the background. So this is floating medium. It is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. And that is an eight ounce bottle, but we have a lot of two ounce. Okay, so let's get, I'm going to use my flat brushes for the background. That's an angle. So we're going to get just a flat. Uh, this is a number 12 and this canvas is smaller, so we can do this. All right. So what I'm going to do, actually, because I don't want to mess up my background since I'm just using, I mean, my mat, since I'm just using uh, a flat canvas board. Think about a greeting card. I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. So let's come in here. I'm going to put a little bit of medium. I've dampened the brush. I've laid it on the paper towel to get the excess water off. And then I'm going to come in here and get white and uh, aqua. And I just pick them both up. It's real light. And I want to leave it not perfect. Is that too hard for you to leave it not perfect? I want you to think about that. It will make everything go simpler. And we want the brush strokes, like rustic looking, simple brush strokes. Okay. So you can tell that got dry, so it wasn't moving. I get a little medium and it moves really good. All right, so I can come down a little bit, but I want you to still see the paint that I'm grabbing, okay? All right, so, so we're more than halfway. So this is kind of gonna be the tree line over here, just so you see what we're gonna be doing, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna do is just put a couple of trees in the background. So I'm going to come here. I never clean this brush. I'm going to come right here and pick up the citrus and the sap. And I can even get some white and work it in. So it's really kind of muted. So way in the back, I could come in here and just pull down. All right. So I'm going to go in front a little bit and go like that. See if you can see it better. Okay. So a little bit of dark here. All right, some, some aqua and sap. Tap, 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 tap. You can just use the corner of the brush even. Okay, a little bit over here. So tap, 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 or crisscross, crisscross the corner. Okay, one thing I like to do is if I'm up here, tap, 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 and get my height and the shorter one in here okay is I like to come in here and just go back and forth back and forth see how that gets the shape of a tree I go back right here 
This has got to have some white and some citrus on it. Back and forth. So I'm going, adding a little bit of white in here. And I'm coming on down because we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to put some other trees in front. There we go. So these are just in the background. Okay, little, 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 then back and forth, back and forth. All right. So the only thing that different is over here, I got darker. All right, over here a little bit. Okay. So those are just some trees in the background. So now what we wanna do is we wanna pick up some white and let's get some blue back here. So this is Prussian blue. Now look what happens. I'm gonna go back and forth. Let's make some color up right here. So we got a nice blue. See, we're mixing that color. We could even come in here and get a color in between. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna wipe that off of my brush. Okay, but I didn't clean it with water. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna keep you a little close there so you can see what we're doing. So the first thing I wanna do is pick up a little bit of Prussian blue stronger, okay? So right in here, I'm going to pick up and go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now I'm gonna come in here and get some of this light. Okay, and then I can come back with just the darker blue here and there. All right, so what I did do, it looks like I used a little bit of cobalt, but I didn't think I did when I originally did this look. So let's pick up some cobalt with oppression. Okay, so then I can get that rich blue in here. That's what I got right here. There we go. All right. So see how we put in the light blue in here? Well, so now I'm going to come in here and get this purple. And we're going to come right up here. Remember, I like to come down and get the straight line. So then... All right, I'm going to go back and forth across here with a little bit of white. Back and forth, back and forth. So we just want to pick up some a little bit of this darker, just dark blue. There's little bits of green back there somewhere. I want to put a little bit of that cobalt with this purple. Just come down a little light over here. Because when you put a little bit of white out there, it kind of gives the idea of some snow on there, which is fine too. All right. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a purple tree right here. And these are not um supposed to be too strong in your face these are just a little bit of illusions in the background so there's the, the prussian so now i'm going to make it darker here all right so see how the prussian is going to be dark enough that it covers everything All right, so then I'm going to have, let me pick up a little, a smaller brush. All right, so when we come and get a little bit of white, and this is my, <laughs> my eight, <laughs> like, what is this brush? So, like, I'm going to put a few little strokes, like, I go straight into white.
All right, grab a weight each time. It's a little bit of white back there, a little bit of purple, a little bit of light, lighter blue. All right. So when I come in here, I'm going to just softly put some brighter blue here. We have another tree that's going to go, the main tree is going to go in front of here. Okay. So that just looks like there's little bits of snow on here. All right. And I, I don't want you to stress over it looking exact. I just want you to see that I'm just grabbing paint on here. I get a point. See, the point's important. So you get the illusion of a tree. This could be way back. So isn't this kind of fun? You're sliding back and forth, side to side. All right. And then I'm going to come right here, right in here. And we're going to make this tree right through here. Tap, tap. It's got some snow on it. Okay. So slide back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You got that? So look, this is thick paint. So I can get it across this whole area. And then I can come in with white and just slide, 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 slide. So those are just the backgrounds, okay? Now, before I go any further, I'm going to take the blue that's in here, and that's a small brush. So let me come right in here with some aquas, some other blue. Now, this is like, it could be water. There's all kinds of things this could be in here. Let me get aqua and white right in here. And this kind of fun. I want you to be loose, loose, loose. Let your arms hang out next to you. Take a deep breath. Let yourself relax and just create something really pretty that was not hard, just fun. All right, now see, we're bringing in the blue from the sky, this aqua. And then this is what happens. Okay, what happens is I've got all that blue there and there's aquas and blues. All right, so then I'm gonna pick up white. I wipe the brush off on the paper towel. Then I'm gonna come right in here and I'm gonna keep building up the snow. So this is really lots of movement in the background. Okay. And then it's going to come right here and smooth out. All right, just a little bit. And over here, look, we're going to put just a little bit like the snow drift on the bottom. Okay. Right here with that. Aqua is a little bit. And we're going to put a little bit more right in here. But before we go too far, see this? We need that blue to stay in there. But before we go too far, isn't that looking kind of like icy? You can imagine that that's a pond, or you can come right in the front, right here. I'm going to come right straight down the middle to right there. Okay. Isn't this kind of fun and easy? I know you're saying, Donna, it is not easy, but it is. Okay. So we're going to come right along here. And I'm going to get this top looking pretty good first. And then I'm going to make right in here. That's what, look at this. You're going to have these branches coming up and see how it's going larger as you come down, smaller as you go up. So see, we're going to, I'm not even looking at the back right now. I'm coming in here and looking at what I want my tree to be. Okay, let's put a little bit more here. 
So I wanted this to be really dark in front. Okay, so I'll put the other trees in the back. There we go. And so now what I wanna do is this definitely needs the white, right? So I wiped everything off, but it's still in that brush. And I'm coming right along here and I'm touching this as light as a feather. Okay, just really light. Okay, we've got to have some dark in here. Little bits of white, lighter, lighter color in there. Okay, so to me, it just looks like some really dark. Darkness from in the evening. It's got some depth in the background. All right, so and that kind of fun. You're getting more more of the strength of color and size right up front. Okay. Now, all that in the background is fine like it is. But what we want to do now is get. I cleaned it now so that I can come in here and smooth out the snow in there. And then I can have some snow banks, look, some big snow banks here. Just like you were using oil paints, you're gonna leave some up here, textured. Right. And then sputter some, watch this, you just lay it down and sputter it across. All right, and it looks like you worked really hard to get that look. All right, so one of the things is that we can go back and forth to get some really nice, smoother looks. All right, so I do think I need some cobalt, some aqua look right in front. All right, so then I can take white and sputter it across. See how nice that's making that? Okay. Now you gotta go get your supplies, pick up a, a card or pick up um, uh, the small flat canvas. Got a whole stack of these at the Dollar Tree. And you can just sit here and create this little winter scene. And to make this all end up just like I want it, I take my fan brush, I wet it in water, and I just make an inky little bed here. Because it's a winter wonderland, but it's I'm not seeing snow. Okay, so look, you're tapping, tapping, and there we go. See, I have one drop right there, but it's easy. We can pick that up pretty easy. Just pull it up, and there we go. So little bits, I got a little watery, so you can make it more pasty here those little slicks more on there there we are our little snowy winter scene all right now we would never see this in florida unless you go out to disney springs near where i live all right so was that fun i just wanted to it's the winter season, most places but Florida. <laughs> and uh, you could create something that just made you feel good. And when you could put ornaments on here by using the handle of the brush and dot some ornaments on there and use it as your greeting card. Is that fun? So, tell me, I wanna know what you think. I wanna know what you wanna see, that's important to me. So have a great day. And think of the season. 
if you're watching this some other season, just be happy and paint. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.